just for demonstration purposes and to make things a little bit more interesting and visually more interesting we brought you to a baseball diamond, a proper baseball diamond. You can teach a dog this in your backyard. We call this a yard drill. So you can teach this to a dog anywhere in a soccer park like we are here or a baseball park or a baseball diamond. Now Cal knows this exercise but I'm going to take him through the basics of it and uh, I'll demonstrate to you exactly heel, exactly what he can do. Okay, we have white buckets set up, heel, sit. We have white buckets set up at first, second and third base. I'm going roughly to the pitcher's mound and the dog sits down. When I throw a dummy to the right over the first base, the dog should see it land and then he should proceed to the dummy upon command. Cal, mark. Over. Good boy. Heel. Sit. Give. Fetch it up. Fetch. Sit. Give. Heel. Now we do this with all positions. Uh, a lot of people don't walk the dog so much or throw these uh, dummies so far. I tend to like to do this. I think it gives the dog a tendency that when you give him an over that he runs a long distance. I'm going to give him a back now and demonstrate him running to second base. Mark. Now the dog has turned from me, which is not a good thing. Cal, here, sit. I've straightened the dog back up. A check cord will keep your dog straight on this exercise and that's what you should use. Back. Heel. Give, good, good boy. Now I'm gonna cover the dog's eyes and I'm gonna place a dummy I'm going to place a dummy roughly up at the second base, heel. Now the dog knows there's a dummy at second base. Sorry, the dog doesn't know there's a dummy at second base. Dead word. Cow. Here. Here. Good boy. Now there's no dummy at second base. He can see a dummy at first base, but I'm going to send him to second base. So he has to ignore the dummy he can see, and this is key in the hunting field. You may shoot a bird, and the bird may land, and he could see the bird. But there may be a bird that he doesn't see in a river current, and if you don't get that bird first, then the bird may be gone and you'll never get that bird again. So we don't want him to go for the marked retrieve, we need him to go for the blind retrieve. So I'm going to use this exercise to demonstrate two things. One, I'm going to send him for the blind and he should take the, a line directly to the number two base. As he proceeds to the number two base, I'm going to sit him on the whistle at the pitcher's mound and then I'm going to redirect him to the dummy at the marked retrieve. Now when we send a dog on a, on a blind retrieve, we always give him a verbal cue. The cue for Cal is dead bird. That means take my hand signals, it's not a mark. So whenever we throw a mark, we give the verbal cue mark. Whenever we do a blind retrieve, we give the verbal cue dead bird. Dead bird. Cal. Over. That was a little bit sloppy. Heel. Give. Sit. And these dummies are a little bit close right now and that is a little bit sloppy but he did a job just to, he did a good job to explain to you what he needed to do. I could widen some of these buckets out to make it easier or we could tighten them up to make it even more difficult. So you have to be the judge of that when you're training your dog. You either uh, make it complex but I would suggest in the beginning you make it simple. And as the dog gets more accomplished, then you make it more complex. So we'll give him another exercise here. Now you can also send the dog directly for first, second or third base from here. And this gives the dog some differentiation and fine tuning on your hand signals. So I'm gonna send him for the dummies at base number three, heel. 
So I'm going to realign the dog, line him up with my hand, dead bird, back. Good boy, heel. Now if I stand square to number two, he's lined up already for number two, second base. Dead bird, back. No. Over. You can see Cal hasn't gone through any drills in a while, but he's doing a fine job. Good boy. Here. Here. Good. Dead bird. Back. Good boy. Good boy. Now he's lined himself up for second base because of the way I'm standing. Heel. Dead bird. Back. Over. These are some simple baseball exercises. Now I've turned my body so he's lining himself for third base. Dead bird. Back. Now you might notice that anytime I send Cal for a marked retrieve, I send him on his name, Cal. But when I send him for a blind, I send him on the word back. And I also give him a ver another verbal cue such as dead bird. Dead bird. Back. I haven't taken Cal through a drill like this in eight weeks, which is a complete shame. We've been so busy filming our TV show and our hunting show. Heel. Sit. Give. Good boy. Good. Okay, so that's a real brief session on baseball. There's not really a whole lot else you need to know. First base, second base, third base. Introduce your dog to it one base at a time. In actual fact, I would recommend that the first base you teach your dog is number two base. So have your dog sit in front of you, have the lead on him, and throw the dummy over him so he sees it go over, and keep him squared till you keep that dog looking at you. And then raise your hand and release the dog to go away from you. And as the dog comes back to you, turn and run and encourage a strong return. These basic fundamentals will set up a very, very good structure. If your dog can do this kind of basics in the field, uh, sorry, in, in, if your dog can do these kind of basics in a baseball diamond or basically in the yard as a drill, then what we need to do is we need to transfer this exercise to the field and we need to find a pond and we send the dog across the pond on a blind retrieve and then we handle him in the pond and we get into much more complex exercises. However, to, to build a retriever that you can take to the field and reliably pick up down birds with blinds and marks in the same instance and dogs that you can handle to a position wherever you need that dog to pick up a bird, this really is all you need to know. This is not going to win you a national field trial or anything like that, but if you do this and translate it to the field, as we'll demonstrate later, you will quite easily pass any season test in the HRC organization that throws at you. So good luck with this. Uh, do a good job with this. I put out these uh, pails. You don't need to do that, but I put them out there to demonstrate. Later on, I will put the pails out, and I'll put five of them out. And we're going to teach you how to do some more complex angle backs and uh, overs there too to really fine-tune your dog and, and make him a more expert retriever. So that's baseball. Get out there and do the business.